It's widely believed that robots and artificial intelligence are concepts that belong far into the future. But a new report from Pew Research and Elon University says that robotics will permeate our work and our personal lives by 2025. But there's a split on whether this will mean more jobs or fewer jobs. Aaron Smith is a senior researcher at the Pew Research Center, and he's here to discuss the findings. Aaron, uh, so you polled 1,900 experts, and they say that things like self-driving cars and intelligent digital agents that can actually act for you are advancing rapidly. What makes it experts think this? Uh, so our experts uh, looked out 10 years in the future and told us that they expect uh, advances in AI and in robotics to, to really permeate our lives uh, in the next 10 years. So they expect uh, many of them to have robot cars uh, on the roads in great numbers, uh, expect a lot of us to have uh, robot uh, caregivers and other digital agents acting for us. And they really see technology uh, permeating our lives in a way uh, that we're only starting to see uh, the, the beginnings of today. So they really see uh, automatic intelligence uh, working for us uh, invisibly in many ways uh, in everything that we do in our daily lives. And I saw that, that Lexus that was driving itself, that's here now. Uh, wh what were the most significant findings from your perspective? So the really significant finding is that people are really unsure about how this is going to play out. So we asked them uh, what they see as the impact on, on human jobs. That was really the focus of this study. Uh, and they were almost exactly split. So half of them expect that these new advances uh, will have a positive or at least a neutral impact on human employment. Uh, the other half really see this uh, as uh, having a significant uh, impact in terms of displacing uh, human jobs. And they really uh, see that as having some profound implications for things like uh, income inequality and social cohesion. Okay, so, but there was, the jury still out on whether these devices will displace, displace more jobs than they have created by 2025. Was there a definitive answer on that? Well, uh, unfortunately, uh, they, were, they were about as evenly split as you could get on a question like this. But the, the good news is uh, it, one of the themes that really came through was this notion that we have a choice as far as uh, which future we wind up in. So uh, our political institutions, uh, our business leaders, and our educational system uh, are going to have to make some really tough decisions over the next 10 years as to how we uh, contend with this, uh, these new developments. Uh, but the, uh, the choices that we make uh, will really determine uh, where we wind up. So uh, sort of how optimistically you feel about uh, the ability of those institutions to uh, make good decisions sort of determines how you feel about this. But the, the good news is, is that uh, in many ways it is up to us as humans to decide which way we, uh, which way we go on this. So 2025, take me there. Is, is it pretty much all here at that point? Uh, will we see a radical change in basically every function such as driving and elevators and all of that? Uh, that's certainly what uh, the vast majority of the experts we talk with uh, talk with predicted. And, and the question is really, uh, do uh, those technologies uh, allow us to have a shorter work week and more leisure time uh, and to spend more of our daily lives on you know, creative pursuits and crafts and hobbies? Uh, or do they all just uh, put us out of jobs and uh, uh, have us all, you know, living on the dole or sort of uh, living on a marginal, uh, a marginal side of the employment equation. So that was really uh, yeah. everyone sort of agrees on where we're going with the technology. The question is, you know, what's the impact going to be in terms of uh, employment and society as a whole? Well, cool stuff. I'm, I hope I'm around to uh, see some of this stuff play out. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you much.